Jeremiah 43. And it came to pass that when Jeremiah had made an end of speaking unto all the people all the words of the Lord their God, for which the Lord their God had sent to them even all these words, then spake Azariah the son of Hoshan, Aya, and Johanan the son of Karea, and all the proud men, saying unto Jeremiah, Thou speakest falsely the word of our God hath not sent thee to see, go not into Egypt to sojourn there. But Baruch the son of Neriah setteth thee on against us, for to deliver us into the hand of the Chaldeans, that they might put us to death and carry us captives into Babylon. So Johanan the son of Karea and all the captains of the forces and all the people obeyed not the voice of the Lord to dwell in the land of Judah. But Johanan the son of Karea and all the captains of the forces took all the remnant of Judah that were returned from all nations whither they had been driven to dwell in the land of Judah, even men and women and children and the king's daughters and every person that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had left with Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, and Jeremiah the prophet, and Baruch the son of Neriah. So they came into the land of Egypt, for they obeyed not the voice of the Lord. Thus came they even to Tarpanis. Then came the word of the Lord unto Jeremiah in Tarpanis, saying, Take great stones in thine hand and hide them in clay in the bricklin, which is at the entry of Pharaoh's house in Tarpanahiz, in the sight of the men, in the sight of the men of Judah, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will send and take Nebuchadrezzar, the king of Babylon, my servant, and set and will set his throne upon these stones that I have hid, and he shall spread his royal pavilion over them. And when he cometh, he shall smite the land of Egypt, and deliver such are for death to death, and such are for captivity to captivity, and such as are for the sword to the sword. And I will kindle a fire in the houses of the gods of Egypt, and he shall burn them and carry them away captives, and he shall array himself with the land of Egypt as a shepherd putteth on his garment, and he shall go forth from hence in peace. He shall break also the images of Beth Shemesh that is in the land of Egypt, and the houses of the gods of the Egyptians shall he burn with fire. 